Many countries had their iconic computer manufacturers. For instance, in the UK, we had Sinclair. France was no exception, and they had Thompson. We're going to take a look at their first machine, the Thompson Ordinator Sept. Okay, so this isn't the first computer they ever made. This is the slightly updated 17 model, as you can see here. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the differences in a minute, but this is a version of the T07. The original T07 was released in 1982 and had a flat membrane keyboard, every bit as bad as the one on the ZX80 and 81. It also had 8K of RAM, 14K of video RAM, and a tiny 4 kilobyte ROM, just enough to hold a test program for the included light pen. More on that later. In its default setup, you can't even load programs from tape, but it came with Microsoft Basic cartridge that fits in the Memo 7 slot. That's this one right here. Okay. <laughs> Other languages and some applications were also available, so it could boot straight into them. This is one of the issues with buying a Thompson T07 nowadays. If the Basic cartridge is missing, it can be hard to get a replacement. There are modern recreations out there, but they can be tough to get a hold of just because of the build time, because they're only effectively amateur products and got a huge production line behind them. The original T07 was discontinued in 1984 to make way for this model, <laughs> the T0770, with a improved keyboard, that's slightly, it's closer to the spectrums, and it added this here locking mechanism to the TO, uh, to the Memo 7 slot. This stopped it popping open, something the original model was played with. Uh, basically, if you were running a program in BASIC, if you were writing something, and that door came open, it would lose connection to the cartridge and then basically would just stop because it was running from the cartridge. It also increased the memory to 48k and the ROM to 6k. The total memory added together, ROM, RAM and video RAM, came to 70k, hence the slash 70 moniker. The number of colours were increased from 8 to 16 as well. Both machines ran on the Motorola 6809 CPU, running at 1 megahertz, either the stock 6809 or the slightly improved E version. Uh, the M05, which we did in another video, is effectively a cut down version of the T07 and was introduced alongside the T0770 model. Eventually, in 1986, the T0770 was replaced with the T08. The Thompson series of computers were fairly popular in France, although eventually obviously dwarfed by the Amstrad CPC range, but still a fairly popular home-grown alternative. Right, well, I guess we take a little look at the machine then. <laughs> Apologies about the shadows. Can't do much about that at the moment. Um, so yeah, here we've got the uh, the tape drive as well, the matching tape drive and the not included floppy drive. Uh, this is, yeah, as we saw, the, the Memo 7 cartridge, which this is the basic 128 version, Microsoft Basic. And this is where the light pen is. And it's a rather, maybe you saw my... MO5 video, you'll you'll see. It's a rather stylish little number, and we will see a little bit more of that later because of a, a problem with this machine. <laughs> yeah, this is the rubber keyed membrane keyboard. The problem with this machine, if you follow my Twitter, you'll know, is the membrane is broken inside here, and it's very hard to get replacements. Uh, definitely one of the big drawbacks of only one of these machines, although there are versions of mechanical membranes as well, which are slightly more robust. But this one, unfortunately not. I'm still trying to repair it. Hopefully I'll get it done. Uh, there's a reset button up here. And oh, if we go to the back, we can see there are four expansion slots. Yep, so you could have four different expansions. This is the game and sound expansion, which adds more sound capabilities to it and obviously to game ports as well. And that's the big old power supply button right there so the power switch is there um, either side there are uh, just a few like expansion ports and nothing on that side uh, you'll see this is the scart lead and the power lead they are both fixed you cannot remove them uh, which is the reason why there's such a <laughs> huge mass of cables on the oh, I'm trying to show off this machine right I think it's a lovely looking machine it's really nicely styled I really do like it. I like all the Thompsons actually. Uh, I've become a little bit addicted to them because they are such lovely little machines. Now then, the problem with the membrane means that we cannot actually do any games. We can't even get them to load. But we can at least demonstrate the light pen functionality because that's built in. Now then, what I'm going to have to do, because there's a light pen that requires a CRT to work properly, 
I'm going to have to record my CRT screen using the camera. Never a great alternative, but it should be fine just for this quick demonstration. Right, well, I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we are, and you can see, well, this is the T07 screen, and if you see here, it's got these little blocks next to these two things. Now, these two things both exist because we have the basic cartridge put in. If that wasn't in there, there would only be one option, which is the light pen test. So, if we open up the light pen, and I think, first of all, we'll just get it to choose the basic. So, there's the light pen. We push it in so that the square is just over. There we go. Oh, and yeah, the keyboard going nuts because it is indeed broken. <laughs> but there you go, Microsoft Basic. So uh, if we just reset to stop that noise. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's Microsoft Basic. And if we go to the second option, there we go. And this is the light pen test. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> just that, just uh, just need to push on the line to prove that it's working. And there we go, the built-in light pen. <laughs> it's a wonderful little device, it really is. I really have fallen in love with these Thomson computers. Um, at some point, I will absolutely definitely get a tier 8 and a tier 9 as well, although they are the more expensive. We're getting up into the expensive areas there. But yeah, they're lovely additions to my collection, so <laughs> I'll definitely be trying to get one. Right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.